He has gone flattering that day. What can I do with my bonnet? I just um been having a few just judging of camera with people, other YouTubers, you know who you are. I'm not even naming them. To the one I message, other message that I am interested. Um, Trailers I can't drive, so um, public transport in large wheelchairs don't mix. Um, we love to think about that. Um, so the reason for this first video, morning active, if you like that. Um, the reason for this video, um, Our locals are deluded. Well, they, they're so fucking hard. Here's why. I've been given a many parameters of poor growth, like an interpol tree. And a cross like this, because I have my and my is in it on film. Good vision, I was doing a bit of homework. One is on film. Red Drift, and we coming back. To red drift at some point, albeit the outskirts. Um, that nearest day, people argue with me, and it's for local people. No, it isn't. It's so obvious. It's so obvious. Why aren't they having shops on the actual estate? Yes, yeah, she went, all right, hot and dead, but, um, Heartland's area is integrated with Paul, Big Area, Camborne, and yeah, units are available. Um, but not many are in use. And why do we need another Turkish barber in Paul? Two in there. Mm. One on the industrial estate, one at Hartman's. Why exactly? The so many jokes here, that's a lot. 
Then more is a problem. Well, I think after everything that be you can get other things gum from dingers, yes, gum. Um, the being pushed further and further out. On the none of the leaves as a colony name. Um, I know several parts of Devon are littered with them. Some set too. But my literary with high unemployment and the poorest part of Britain. When we have the drakes from the dingies, just saying, um, should I be here? No. Should I be? I think there's going to be something happening because then the people won't give a fuck now at first until later. Trust me, I don't want to bring them to Cornwall. When they're done, when not like the rest of the UK. For God's sake, we don't even know the English in here. Um, this is going to make it with some common sense of the fucking mic. Are there any of you who are fucking local? Um, you're a bunch of twats and the man you should be shut down. Mm. I'd shut you down because you didn't give a fuck on. Council is a bit like you know what's coming when I go a bit like, don't you? The BBC fucking useless. Yeah, useless, useless. You're one of them. You're so fucking useless. It's unbelievable. Mind you think you're standing down. Show me where I stood up, really, George. Oh, that was hippie, actually. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so the zippy popped in. But who oh, 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 is good? Yeah, this is the Um, all I can say is don't vote for him in the net. In the up and coming elections, whenever they run. Um, so what can we do? I think Cornwall should self govern, not send money to central government ever. 
and certainly don't fund our social services as shit. Some is in the NHS shit, but that shit every moment it goes. Um, the mother walks in because I want to take me somewhere. Um, but I never seen as I drove out that door and going to be pissed upon. Remember last year, every time, <laughs> nearly every time I tried to go out, it would run, yeah. So, um, my opinion on dinghy dollars, they need to go, go back up country, then in the Emmets in Cornwall, um, they need to go to, um, Because we've already got issues with the local people. Oh, this is it. Hang on a minute. Our council doesn't like closing their own people. They'd rather the left come on. Is that it? And my allies is so much more dear. Me, my allies is then in the road like 300,000. It's never fucking special with her. It's Campbell and Red Drift. And in this special with Big Pen Sons. <laughs> oh dear. No, I don't like Pen Sons. What a dive. Um, nobody has liked it. Um, and yeah, um, what was it? There's a sign on Paddington Station suggesting looking for work in those in Dirty Cumble, because it's fuck all here. So don't come to Cumble. You won't get nothing. What dries up between October and March for a majority of people and then they're looking for um, off-season bit of work to keep things going. The answer is don't come here. We don't want you here. Um, and then there is a YouTuber who puts it quite well. He came here for a better future. Mom till he began living in the middle of there isn't a future for Cornwall. And he's right. I mean, I say Ben and it's, but actually Wendell explores puts it right. It's spot on his he came here 
wanting to fit in. Not all do. And I applaud him for wanting to be like us, like ordinary people, and not try to tell Cornwall where it should be. He admits it himself. He hates the mentality and knows them. And he gets the main news in that, but because he fits in. Um, we must meet me and him, but I don't know when we're going to do it. I would love to do a YouTube video with him. Um, because it brings up a lot of interest in facts about the fact that nine months of the year comes dead. Fact. He understands. And the um, poverty across Cornwall unless you live in foil and anywhere like that. Then again, the trips and mix it in locals. Um, And that said, come rip off council of the charges to live there. I mean, from what we get back, don't pay no council tax, telling me not funding them like I keep telling them and I don't, I don't pay it. I refuse to because I jerks. Each and every member who come or corrupt council is a fucking moron. Hello, social services, you're a bunch of dickheads. There you go. That's them dealt with. If I showed you the state of our roads, you wouldn't believe me. No, you might. You must think we're in the third world country if you saw how badly laid the tarmac is. It's shit. Um, I think someone did comment when I went down to my wagon. Um, and one of those videos, um, I need to keep my camera steady. What I mean, it's the fucking pavements and roads here. They have pits everywhere. Um, I mean, cars are getting damaged all the time. Come on, in my wheelchair, if I get damaged by Cumble Council and that inept methods, I'm a silly cunt. 
Am I um, the fool I don't know? Maybe I still might. I hate Cornwall Kent, so weather fighting passes. And I think the buildings should be blown to pieces. Now, Cornwall Council is filled with dickheads. Mm. Each and every one is a spack wangle. They're not needed, they're not necessary, they need to go. And so the fortune if we shut down the council because all we actually get from it is a bin's been emptied. That's it. Big whoopee fucking doodle -doo, doo. And before anyone goes on about amenities that don't own any before you mention a leisure centre that don't own it before you mention apartments that don't own it before you mention various places that you think are and by Cornwall Corrupt Council, they own fuck all across the county. They own very little and yet try to tell everyone how wonderful they are. Bullshit! Oh, they wonderful. They even tried to sell off, you know, the same way when me and Barney were back in the summer and that field up behind. They even tried to sell that off to a BMS. Club in the mixtures every day by locals. Let me your fucking fun. And anyway, it's um, a, a plane from the um, con that my dad is to. Don't pull under the gun being flooded, the fucking twats. Como Council is full of the bunch of bankers. Let me tell you, they're everywhere there. From social workers, to admin, to their own care company, their own shit. Mm. Seriously fucking pointless. They are as much as the BBC. And we know how much I love the BBC by now. I understand this that from the council fucking zero about that they're full of bollocks and they'd be better off 
been shut down by government. They need to go. Someone else needs to be in charge of Cornwall, but not Cornwall Council. The shit and dog. Uh, I'll take you around in a minute and I'll show you the state of the roads around here, including our main road, which bad, seriously bad. I don't know where they keep going. I really don't. And the other business and they'd be bankrupt by now because I don't know customers. Does that mean they're ripping us off like the BBC? Think so. Oh, actually, I know so. Not think so. Corruption, greed, lies, liking of anyone for them. That sounds like the light don't it? So the new Cornwall Council, fuck right off.